Cartoon Cult Martial Arts Kindle Edition by S. Rob Mark Rains Illustrator Mark Rains I think so. Occult Martial Arts by S. Rob Mark Rains Mark Rains Illustrator Warning, this book contains dangerous, strange ideas. Chapter 1 Occult Side of Cartoon Occult Martial Arts by S. Rob Cartoon Occult Martial Arts is not like any other martial arts, not just in part because of its unusual the practical nature, because although perhaps at first it would not be judged to be so for its name, it is highly effective fighting tool, but also because of its oddness. The cartoon occult martial arts does not just strike with its his or her body, but also with the mind. This means you, that quite simply, we're looking for the level of techniques where the will and the cult power is so strong that if one of the strikes was the form would normally utilize will and technique that the opponent would feel the strike, even if our strike be formed on the other side of the globe or is actually being hit. However, this does not mean there'll be no different between being on the wrong end of the physical attack versus a cult one. There may well be some difference, but not necessarily one of power. However, for the attacker, it would be a matter of visualisation, because one would not need to visualise the one in front of us that would need to visualise one far away. In short, this makes the strikes and other techniques, the nearest thing to dumb mark, death touch, one may have without being, being this. In fact, we strike to cause damage, and physically heavy strike may do this, but it should also come from what will, our powerful forces of will. Much of humanity's power and magical power flows directly from his will. But this does not mean that he will be striking slowly or the strikes of his own. No, we must strike as if he is actually fighting, whether or not, whether we are or not in fight striking, as our opponents may not even be near to us. So much so that we should expect a man many miles away to feel the blows themselves. This means that before performing any of the actual moves themselves, I simply need you to practice this next exercise. It's quite simply a punch. And all I want you to do is visualise a person. You believe this like a lot. If you're in front of it, you'll punch in space. The full flow knowing that, that I am supposed to affect a person, whatever they are. However, I want you to practice this for next week several times a day. Perhaps switching the person to dictators, doing it, focusing your will and hate so much that I think you, by the end of the week you'll probably be punching a person from a distance. Once this is done, you can proceed to the next part of the learning the actual moves. Cartoon Occult Martial Art Moves by Mark Reigns. Following a simple effective moves. Method of Cartoon Occult Martial Arts. First, you should aim to keep your entire body strong. Find some exercises. Keep your art sharp. Stretch for flexibility is important in almost every martial art. In learning martial arts, you're going to work muscles that tend to be overlooked. Stretching is the only way to keep you from being stiff. Stretch during your workouts. Also, before and after your training sessions, leg raises are a good way to improve flexibility in your legs. Lift your leg in front of you, maintaining control and t- and the tire way up. Don't kick your leg up. Lift it slowly. Practice leg raises on the side and behind you to cover your full range of motion. Progress t- takes time. Don't rush and get injured. Give yourself a chance to recover. Remember, learning a martial art requires you to get hit. You're going to fall down. You will get hurt. Keep in mind that learning a martial art is a long, lifelong journey. 
It's not a race. And even grandmasters learn daily. That's begin with a firearm block. This is an effective block against a punch from our opponent. And simultaneously hurting his arm hurting his arm. First point your fist to your ear and then your elbow sh- to f- side swing your upper arm. I will cross your chest. The outer edge of your forearm should make contact with the opponent's arm. Time is essential to be successful. Block. You also use this block to do, do against a lapel grab. If you force the opponent to let go of shirt. Now, the next technique. Roundhouse kick. Lift your leg off the ground and bend knee. Kick horizontally at opponent from with instep or ball of feet. Twist hips. Quickly snap your knee to generate power. This kick is delivered to, to midsection. Now for the palm hand strike. Execute this technique by forcefully driving the heel of your of your palm to no to nose. It may cause the opponent's nose to break. Front elbow strike. Bend your arm. Swing your elbow horizontally. At opponent's jaw. Increase the effect by grabbing the back of your opponent's neck or head and bring them into the strike. If you lower your stance, you can strike at the ribs. Striking refers to attacking moves, offensive moves, done while standing up, like the use of kicks, punches, elbows, knees, headbutts. Most widely used for striking with a hand involves a good old clenched fist, punching, whereas contrary to the leaf and open hand or over palm, is also very effective for striking. A note of caution: that the hand is made up of very small, smaller bones. Dangers of first striking involve damage to the bones, and ligaments upon heavy impact. Ensure you may take adequate precaution while practicing this technique. Almost all martial arts do involve striking in varying ways and methods. Striking refers to attacking moves, offensive moves done while standing up, like the use of head neck kicks. Punches, knees, elbows, knees, headbutts. Most effectively, the most widely used striking in the hand involves a good old French clenched fist, clenched fist punching, whereas contrary to leaf, an open hand, open palm, is also very effective for striking. This has been a sample. of Cartoon Occult Martial Arts, Kindle Book by S. Rob, author, Mark Raines, author, illustrator, Kindle, £4.98. Available on Amazon, www.amazon.com. Go and buy it, folks. The narrative was read by Mark Raines. Thank you.